How to Receive Success in Abundance, presented by Theo E. David and the Audio Bookshelf. Welcome back to our audio bookshelf. We hope you enjoy the book, and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to get our latest content. Enjoy. Introduction. Visualize a life where all your desires effortlessly manifest. Abundance flows freely, and you feel perfectly in sync with the natural rhythm of the universe. Welcome to Abundant Life, a book that will help you adopt a mindset and lifestyle that effortlessly attracts all you want to be, do and have. Have you ever experienced perpetual effort and challenge in pursuing your aspirations, yet discovered that genuine contentment remains out of reach? Many have been taught that success requires constant hard work and sacrifices. But what if the secret to a life filled with plenty lies in embracing rather than controlling, harmonizing with the universe instead of resisting it? This book will help you understand that what is meant for you will come effortlessly and will guide you in aligning yourself with the natural flow of abundance. The journey starts by grasping the fundamentals of effortless abundance. There is a vast array of blessings that extend beyond mere material wealth, encompassing love, health, happiness, and fulfillment in all aspects of life. This book will assist you in redefining your perspective on abundance and developing the ability to identify its presence in your everyday experiences. By changing the way you look at things, you'll begin to notice the countless possibilities and positive aspects that may have gone unnoticed before. One of the foundational concepts we explore is the law of attraction. This universal principle states that like attracts like. Positive thoughts and feelings attract positive outcomes. You'll learn how to harness the power of your thoughts and emotions to attract the abundance you desire. Through practical exercises and real life examples, this book will guide you in cultivating a mindset that naturally draws in what belongs to you. Another essential aspect is letting go of resistance and control. Often, our need to control outcomes creates tension and blocks the flow of abundance. This book will teach you how to surrender to the universe's timing and trust that what is meant for you will come. By releasing resistance, you make space for miracles to happen and for abundance to flow naturally. Now, is it truly possible to let abundance flow into your life effortlessly from the universe? This intriguing question is at the heart of abundant life. This guide will take you on a transformational journey, starting with reframing your mindset towards abundance and leading you through cultivating gratitude, releasing limiting beliefs, aligning with universal rhythms, and more, all with the ultimate aim of helping you access a life of contentment and fulfillment. Why not explore this concept further and potentially discover a new approach to living a rich life? Chapter 1. Reframe your mindset towards abundance. To let abundance flow, you've got to shift your mindset, seeing not just the scarcity, but the infinite possibilities that surround you. This isn't about denying the reality of your current circumstances or wearing rose-tinted glasses. It's about recognizing that your mindset matters and shapes your reality. We're often programmed to focus on limitations, on what we don't have, on what we can't do. This scarcity mindset can trap you in a cycle of lack and discontent, but you have the power to break free. You can reframe your perspective to see abundance instead. How you ask, start by acknowledging your scarcity mindset. Accept that it's there, but don't let it define you. Remember, it's a mindset, not a life sentence. You can change it. Next, shift your focus. Instead of dwelling on what you lack, look at what you have. You've got strengths, talents, and resources. You've got dreams, passions, and opportunities. There's so much right there if you choose to see it. And finally, cultivate an abundance mindset. Believe in a world of plenty where there's room for everyone's success. Believe in your capacity to grow, achieve, and thrive. Reframing your mindset toward abundance isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process, a conscious choice you make every day. But it can transform your life, opening up a world of contentment and opportunities. So step out of scarcity, embrace abundance, and let it flow into your life. Chapter 2. Cultivate an Attitude of Gratitude In embracing abundance, cultivating an attitude of gratitude is your next essential step, a practice that can profoundly alter your perception of life's riches. Gratitude is an act of recognition, 
an acknowledgement of the bounty that already exists in your life. It amplifies your awareness of the good things around you, making you more likely to notice and appreciate them. Start by making a list of the things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big or monumental. Often, it's the little things that bring us the most joy. It could be the scent of freshly brewed coffee in the morning, a heartwarming smile from a stranger, or the comforting warmth of your favourite blanket. By appreciating these small moments, you'll start realising that your life is already rich in ways you hadn't noticed before. Practising gratitude also changes your mindset. When you're appreciative, you focus on the positives rather than the negatives. This shift in perspective attracts more positivity and abundance into your life. The universe responds to your vibrations and a grateful heart sends out some of the highest. Chapter 3. Release Limiting Beliefs and Fears While you're cultivating an attitude of gratitude, it's also important to confront and let go of any limiting beliefs and fears that might be holding you back. You're capable of achieving so much more than you think, but often your own mind is the biggest obstacle in your path. Think about what you're afraid of. Is it failure, rejection, uncertainty? These fears are natural, but they can also be paralyzing if you let them take control. Instead, face them head on. Understand that it's okay to make mistakes, to be rejected, and to not have all the answers. These are parts of life, and they're not reflections of your worth or potential. Now consider your limiting beliefs. Do you believe you're not good enough, smart enough, or deserving? These beliefs are often rooted in past experiences and can prevent you from reaching for the stars. But remember, you're not defined by your past. You're capable, deserving, and more than enough just as you are. So how do you release these fears and beliefs? It starts with awareness. Recognize when you're being held back by fear or a limiting belief, then challenge it. Ask yourself, is this really true? What proof do I have? If it's not true, let it go. Replace it with a positive belief that empowers you. Releasing your fears and limiting beliefs won't happen overnight, but with patience, perseverance, and a whole lot of self-love, you'll find yourself moving closer to a life of contentment and abundance. Trust in yourself. You've got this. Chapter 4. Align with the universe's rhythms. Embracing the rhythms of the universe can help you sync your life's pace with the natural ebb and flow of abundance. Think of the universe as a grand symphony and you're part of its orchestra. When you're in harmony with the universe, you'll find that everything simply falls into place. So how do you align with these rhythms? Begin by observing nature. Watch the sunrise and sunset, the changing of seasons, and the tides ebb and flow. These patterns aren't random, but divine orders that you too can tap into. Next, pay attention to your inner rhythms. Just like nature, your body and mind have their own cycles of activity and rest. Honor these by practicing self-care and maintaining healthy habits. Don't push yourself when you need rest and don't idle when you're full of energy. Finally, learn to trust in the universe's timing. Life isn't a race, so resist the urge to rush or force things. Understand that there's a time for everything. And when it's your time, the universe will make it clear. Chapter 5. Visualize your desired reality. Once you've learned to flow with the universe's rhythms, you can take the next step. Visualizing the reality you desire. It's not about wishful thinking or daydreaming. It's about creating a clear mental picture of your future self living in abundance and contentment. Start by creating a quiet, comfortable space free from distractions where you can focus on your visualization. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and let your mind wander to the future you desire. It could be a future where you're financially stable, emotionally fulfilled, or enjoying excellent health. Whatever it is, imagine it with clarity and detail. Picture your ideal reality in vivid colors, letting it engage all your senses. Feel the emotions attached to this reality, the joy, satisfaction, and peace that come with achieving your desires. Don't just see it, believe it. Live it in your mind's eye. You're not just an observer in this reality. You're the creator, the star, the one living it. Remember, the universe responds to energy and emotions. The more real your visualization feels, the more potent the energy you send out, and the quicker the universe can respond. It's like tuning a radio station. You need to be on the right frequency to receive the right signals. 
Visualizing your desired reality isn't just a one-time event. It's a daily practice. Keep refining your image, making it clearer and more real. It's a journey, not a destination. And with every step, you're not only getting closer to your future, but you're also learning to be content in the present. Chapter six, embrace the power of affirmations. After visualizing your desired reality, it's essential to reinforce it with the power of affirmations, which can considerably enhance your journey toward abundance and contentment. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you challenge, overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeatedly tell yourself something and truly believe it, you can start making positive changes. Don't underestimate the simplicity of affirmations. They're not just feel-good quotes or motivational sayings. They're powerful tools that can shape your mindset and change your life. For instance, if you're feeling unworthy or doubtful, affirmations like I am deserving of abundance or I am confident in my abilities can help shift your perspective and increase your self-confidence. But how exactly do you use affirmations? Start by identifying negative beliefs or thoughts that are blocking your path to contentment. Then, formulate positive affirmations that directly counter these negatives. Repeat these affirmations daily, ideally out loud and in front of a mirror. Make your affirmations personal, positive and in the present tense. Believe in them and you'll start to see the power they have in transforming your reality. Chapter seven, manifest through meditation and stillness. Now let's explore the calming power of meditation and stillness two remarkable tools you can use to let abundance flow into your life. You've probably heard about meditation's many benefits, but did you know it can help you attract abundance too? Let's investigate how. Meditation helps you still your mind, tune out the noise and listen to your inner self. It's like clearing a cluttered room to make space for new beautiful things. When you quiet your mind, you're able to hear the whispers of the universe. These whispers are your guidance leading you towards an abundant life. Start by setting aside a few moments each day for quiet reflection. This doesn't have to be elaborate. Five minutes in the morning or evening will do. Just find a quiet place, sit comfortably, close your eyes and focus on your breath. As thoughts come, let them go without judgment. This simple act of stillness can open doors to abundance you never imagined. Meditation isn't just about silence though. It's about intentionality. As you meditate, visualize the abundance you desire, picture it in vivid detail, feel the joy it brings and believe in its possibility. This act of visualization is like placing an order with the universe. You're saying, this is what I want. I'm ready for it. And the universe in its infinite wisdom and generosity will respond. Chapter eight, nurture healthy relationships and connections. In the journey towards abundance, nurturing healthy relationships and connections plays a pivotal role, for it's through these bonds that we often find the most profound sense of fulfillment and prosperity. Indeed, your relationships are a reflection of the love and respect you hold for yourself, and they can greatly influence your overall contentment. Prioritize quality over quantity when it comes to your relationships. Surround yourself with those who uplift and inspire you, those who truly see you for who you are and encourage your growth. These are the types of connections that nurture your soul and help you align with the abundant flow of the universe. Be honest and open in your communications. Healthy relationships thrive on mutual respect, understanding, and the freedom to express one's thoughts and feelings. Cultivate these qualities in your interactions and you'll find your connections deepening in beautiful ways. Don't forget to nurture the relationship with yourself. Embrace self-love and self-care. You can't pour from an empty cup when you take care of your own needs first. You'll have more energy and love to share with others. Chapter nine, develop a prosperity mindset. Harnessing the power of a prosperity mindset, you can start to see opportunities instead of obstacles and attract more abundance into your life. It's a shift from scarcity thinking, where you feel there's never enough to a belief in abundance, where you're certain the universe is overflowing with opportunities for your prosperity. To develop a prosperity mindset, you need to believe in your worth and potential. You're deserving of success and abundance, not because of luck, 
but because of your abilities, talents and efforts. You've got to see yourself as capable of achieving great things and worthy of receiving them. You also need to change your narrative around money. If you've been telling yourself that money is hard to come by or that you're always broke, you're sending the wrong message to the universe. Instead, start affirming that money comes to you easily and frequently. Visualize yourself enjoying the prosperity you desire. Feel the joy, the security, and the peace that comes with financial abundance. Practice gratitude for what you already have. Gratitude sends a strong message to the universe that you appreciate and value the abundance in your life. This in turn attracts more abundance. Lastly, keep your focus on what you want, not on what you don't have. What you focus on expands. If you focus on lack, that's what you'll attract. But if you focus on prosperity, if you truly believe in your heart that you're meant for abundance, that's what you'll manifest. Chapter 10, overcome financial worries and anxieties. Embracing a life of abundance means confronting and overcoming financial worries and anxieties that may be holding you back. We've all been there, feeling the weight of money-related stress. But it's crucial to understand that it's not permanent. Your financial situation doesn't define your worth or, or predict your future success. Begin by honestly evaluating your financial situation. It's easier to address the problem once you've faced it. Create a budget. Track your spending and identify areas where you can save. You're not cutting back. You're wisely managing your resources. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you save and invest. Next, focus on building an emergency fund. This is your safety net that will cushion you from unexpected financial blows, bringing peace of mind. It might be a slow process, but every penny counts. Embrace a positive mindset. You're not broke. You're pre-wealthy. Visualize financial success, but also take practical steps towards it. Educate yourself about personal finance. Knowledge is power, and it's never too late to learn. Finally, practice gratitude. It's easy to overlook the non-material abundance in your life when you're preoccupied with financial worries. Celebrate your health, relationships, experiences, and every small victory on your financial journey. Overcoming financial worries isn't merely about accumulating wealth, but about finding peace and contentment in the present moment. It's about understanding that you're more than your bank balance. You're capable, resilient, and deserving of abundance. Now, let's turn those financial anxieties into stepping stones on your path to contentment. Chapter 11. Attract abundance in all areas. Having tackled your financial anxieties, you're now ready to invite abundance into every aspect of your life. Remember, abundance isn't just about wealth. It's about experiencing fullness in all areas of your life, relationships, health, creativity, and personal fulfillment. Start by fostering an abundance mindset. This doesn't mean simply daydreaming about what you want. It's about truly believing that you're deserving of all the good things life has to offer. It's about shifting your focus from lack to abundance, from scarcity to plenty, from fear to love. It's about acknowledging your worth and opening yourself to receive. Next, cultivate gratitude. It's easy to overlook the everyday blessings while chasing after what you don't have yet. It's precisely these daily miracles that are the seeds of abundance. Each moment of joy, every act of kindness, all instances of good health, these are your riches. Cherish them and express your appreciation regularly. Lastly, let go of what no longer serves you. Clinging to old hurts, regrets or fears can block the flow of abundance. Release these burdens and make room for new blessings to enter your life. Attracting abundance in all areas isn't a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. It requires commitment and patience, but with a positive mindset, a grateful heart, and a willingness to let go. You'll find that abundance isn't something you seek, but something that naturally flows into your life. You're not just attracting abundance. You're becoming a magnet for it. Chapter 12, Unlock the Law of Attraction. Now it's your turn to access the Law of Attraction, a powerful universal principle that can amplify your abundance magnet. Simply put, the Law of Attraction states that you'll attract into your life whatever you focus on. Whatever you give your energy and attention to will come back to you. So, if you stay focused on the good and positive things in your life, you'll automatically attract more good and positive things. 
If you're focused on lack and negativity, then that's what you'll attract into your life. Understanding this principle is one thing, but applying it demands a bit more attention. Start by defining what you want. Is it more love, more health, more financial stability? Clearly define it, visualize it, and affirm it. Next, use your emotions as your compass. If you feel good, you're on the right track. If you feel bad, take it as a sign to change your thoughts or your focus. Don't just wish for it, expect it. This isn't about hoping your desires come true, but about expecting them to. Believe with certainty that what you want is on its way. Then be open to receiving. This means being open to surprises, open to changes, and open to the universe's method of delivery. Sometimes it won't come in the form you expect, but that's okay. Chapter 13. Transform Negative Thoughts and Emotions Tackling your negative thought patterns can be a game changer. Transforming your life from a barren desert of scarcity into a fertile field of abundance. It's essential to understand that your thoughts and emotions hold power. They can either uplift you, driving you towards success, or weigh you down, drowning you in a sea of self-doubt and worry. Start by acknowledging your negative thoughts. Don't shy away from them or bury them deep within. Bring them to the surface, examine them, and understand their root cause. It's okay to feel negative emotions, it's part of being human, but it's equally important not to let them control you. Instead, you should control them. Next, challenge these thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought based on fact or just my perception? More often than not, you'll find that they're not grounded in reality. They're just fears and insecurities talking. Reframe these thoughts into positive statements. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, say to yourself, I will learn and grow from this experience. Chapter 14. Embrace a lifestyle of simplicity. Embracing a simple lifestyle can be a powerful shift, allowing you to clear the noise and focus on what truly matters in your life. You might be wondering how to start. Well, it's easier than you think. Start small, declutter your space. That old coat you haven't worn in years? Donate it. That huge pile of papers on your desk? Organize it. You'll be amazed at how liberating it feels to create physical space in your home. It's a tangible step towards creating mental space in your mind. Next, simplify your schedule. Learn to say no more often. You don't have to accept every invitation or take on every task. Prioritize what's important to you and let go of the rest. This means more time for yourself, your loved ones, and your passions. Lastly, be mindful of your consumption. Do you really need that brand new gadget? Or are you buying it out of habit? Try to make conscious choices, buying only what you need or truly love. Chapter 15. Cultivate inner peace and contentment. As you clear out the clutter in your life, you'll uncover a surprising truth. Inner peace and contentment start to naturally bloom. It's like uncovering a hidden oasis amid the desert of modern life's chaos. This peace, this contentment, they aren't something you need to chase or fight for. They're already within you waiting to be revealed. Start by quieting the noise in your life. You've got to slow down, disconnect from the digital world, and reconnect with your inner self. Feel the rhythm of your breath. Listen to the beat of your heart. In these quiet moments, you'll find a sense of peace that's both calming and empowering. But cultivating inner peace isn't just about quiet moments. It's also about acceptance. Accepting life as it is, not as you wish it to be. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or indifference. It simply means acknowledging the reality of your life without judgment or resistance. When you accept, you let go of the struggle and start to find contentment in the here and now. Lastly, remember to be patient with yourself. Cultivating inner peace and contentment is a journey, not a destination. There will be days when you feel overwhelmed or frustrated. That's okay, it's part of the process. Just keep going. Each step you take is a step closer to the peace and contentment you seek. Chapter 16. Harness the energy of gratitude. Feeling truly content also means harnessing the transformative power of gratitude in your life. You see, gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's a profound appreciation for the abundance that already exists in your life. It's about acknowledging the beauty in the ordinary and the extraordinary. It's about recognizing that what you've got is enough and anything else that comes is a bonus. Start each day with a simple act of gratitude. 
It could be as easy as writing down three things you're grateful for each morning. This small ritual can have a profound impact on your outlook, helping you see your life through a lens of abundance rather than scarcity. But don't just stop at writing. Express your gratitude in your actions. Show your appreciation to the people around you. Say thank you more often. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they might seem. And most importantly, be grateful for yourself, for your strengths, your talents, and your capacity to grow and learn. Remember, gratitude isn't a one-time event, but a continuous process. It's like a muscle that needs to be exercised regularly to stay strong. So make it a habit. Practice gratitude every day, and you'll find that it not only makes you feel happier and more content, but it also attracts more good things into your life. Harness the energy of gratitude and watch as the universe reciprocates with abundance. This is the magic of gratitude, and you have the power to tap into it. Chapter 17. Overcome limiting beliefs and doubts. To truly embrace abundance, you've got to shatter those invisible chains of doubt and limiting beliefs that hold you back. These self-imposed barriers are the thieves of your joy and potential. They whisper in your ear, telling you that you're not good enough, that abundance is for others, not you. It's time to silence these whispers and claim your right to abundance. Start by identifying these limiting beliefs. It's not always easy, as they're often deeply ingrained and subconscious. They might be beliefs about your self-worth, your capabilities, or your deservedness. Once you've identified them, you can start the process of overcoming them. Remember, it's perfectly okay to have doubts. In fact, it's human, but you mustn't let them control you. Instead, use them as stepping stones towards growth. When a doubt arises, confront it. Ask yourself, is this true or is this just a belief I've held on to for too long? Then take action. Replace your limiting beliefs with empowering ones. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, think, I can learn to do this. Instead of believing, I don't deserve abundance, believe, I am worthy of all good things. This process requires patience and persistence, but it's worth it. And remember, the universe is generous. It's not stingy or selective. It doesn't favour some and neglect others. It willingly gives to those who are open and ready to receive. Chapter 18. Align your actions with abundance. Having shattered your limiting beliefs, you're now ready to align your actions with the mindset of abundance. But what does that mean exactly? It means letting go of scarcity thinking and embracing the idea that there's plenty to go around. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking. If I get more, someone else gets less. But that's not how the universe works. The universe is abundant and there's enough for everyone. The trick is to align your actions with this belief. Start by catching yourself when you slip into scarcity thinking. If you find yourself worrying about not having enough, remind yourself of the abundance all around you. Look at the wealth of nature, the unlimited ideas in the world, the plentiful opportunities for growth and learning. Next, follow through with actions that show you believe in abundance. Give generously of your time, energy and resources. Support others in their success. Celebrate their wins as if they were your own. Chapter 19. Manifest prosperity through mindful living. Embrace mindfulness and you'll find prosperity flowing into your life like a river, abundant and unending. It's not about luck or circumstance. It's about living with awareness. When you're fully present, you're in the driver's seat of your life, steering towards the abundance you crave. Mindfulness means being aware of your thoughts, feelings and actions. It's paying attention to the now without judgment. It's recognizing your potential and the opportunities around you. By living mindfully, you're not just passively waiting for abundance to knock on your door. You're actively inviting it in. Start small. Take a few minutes each day to sit in silence, breathe deeply and focus on the present. This simple act can bring clarity and peace, helping you make better decisions and opening your senses to the opportunities around you. Next, practice gratitude. It's easy to focus on what you lack, but mindful living is about appreciating what you already have. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for. This shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance, attracting more of what you want. Chapter 20. Embrace the flow of the universe. As you focus on living mindfully, 
remember that you're part of a larger cosmic plan that's always in motion. It's important to align with this universal flow to truly invite abundance into your life. This flow is like a river, constantly moving and changing, carrying with it opportunities and experiences that are meant for you. Embracing this flow doesn't mean you have to stop seeking your goals. Rather, it's about letting go of the need to control every aspect of your journey. Life can often feel chaotic and unpredictable, but rest assured, there's a pattern and rhythm in this apparent chaos. This is the universe orchestrating events, people and experiences in your favour. Your task is to trust this flow and move with it, not against it. Understand that the universe has your back. It's not out to get you. It's continually conspiring to guide you toward your highest good. So when life feels difficult, remind yourself that it's just the universe setting you up for something better. To embrace the flow of the universe, you need to cultivate a sense of surrender. This doesn't mean giving up on your dreams. Instead, it's about recognizing that there's a bigger picture beyond what you can currently see or understand. Chapter 21, Cultivate a Mindset of Abundance. Diving into a mindset of abundance, you'll find that the universe isn't just a place of scarcity and limitation. In fact, it's a vibrant ecosystem teeming with opportunities waiting for your discovery. The first step, however, is to cultivate a mindset that truly believes in this abundant reality. Feel the fear and do it anyway. It's natural to feel anxious or doubtful when venturing into new territory, but don't let this deter you. Instead, harness these feelings and use them to propel you forward. Remember, abundance isn't a state of material wealth, but rather a state of mind. It's about being grateful for what you have while remaining open to the possibilities that lie ahead. Surround yourself with positive influences. Choose to spend your time with people who inspire you, uplift you, and encourage your growth. These individuals will help shape your perspective, reinforcing your belief in an abundant universe. Finally, make it a daily habit to affirm your belief in abundance. Use phrases like, I am open to the gifts of the universe, or I attract prosperity effortlessly. Consistent practice will help these affirmations root deeply into your subconscious, making them a natural part of your thought process. Cultivating an abundant mindset isn't an overnight shift, but a continuous journey of growth and self-discovery. So take the leap, allow yourself to dream, and prepare to welcome the flow of abundance into your life. Chapter 22. Overcome scarcity mentality and lack. Shifting from a scarcity mentality to one of abundance, you'll find it essential to confront and overcome the fears and uncertainties that often accompany a sense of lack. This isn't something you'll accomplish overnight, but with persistence and courage, you can make significant progress. Recognize that fears about scarcity are often rooted in experiences from your past, perhaps stemming from periods of financial instability or emotional insecurity. It's vital to understand these fears don't define you or your future. Unpack them, examine them, and then let them go. Releasing these fears creates a space in your life for abundance to take root. Next, focus on cultivating a positive mindset about your resources. Instead of dwelling on what you don't have, appreciate what's already in your life. Recognizing the good that's present can help shift your perspective from lack to abundance. This might feel awkward at first, but it's a powerful tool in overcoming a scarcity mentality. In the same vein, it's important to avoid comparisons. The perceived lack often arises when you compare your situation with others. Remember, everyone's journey is unique and the abundance in another's life doesn't take away from yours. Chapter 23, Attract Prosperity and Fulfillment. Often, the key to attracting prosperity and fulfillment lies in your ability to open yourself up to possibilities, believe in your worth, and take decisive action towards your goals. Your mindset is your most powerful tool. You've got to believe in your potential and worth before you can invite wealth and happiness into your life. Start by visualizing the life you want. It's not enough to just desire it. You've got to see it, feel it, and believe it's within your reach. Then set clear, actionable goals. What steps can you take today, tomorrow, or next week to move closer to your vision? Remember, every journey starts with a single step. Next, adopt an abundance mentality. Cherish the blessings you already have and express gratitude for them. 
This isn't about ignoring life's challenges, but about focusing on the positives. When you're grateful for what you have, you invite more of the same into your life. Also, don't shy away from opportunities, even if they scare you. The universe rewards those who take risks and step out of their comfort zones. So seize those opportunities and don't let fear hold you back. Lastly, remember that fulfillment isn't solely about material wealth. It's about being content and experiencing joy, peace and love. Prosperity isn't about having everything you want, but about wanting what you have. So enjoy the journey, embrace the lessons, and let abundance flow into your life effortlessly from the universe. Chapter 24. Unlock the secrets of contentment. You're about to discover the secrets of true contentment, allowing the abundance of the universe to be at your fingertips. Imagine manifesting the life you desire effortlessly, understanding the essentials of how abundance flows. It's simpler than you think, and it starts with understanding what real contentment means to you. Embracing true contentment, the golden key to abundance, isn't about settling for less, but realizing you already have more than you need. It's about transforming your perspective, looking at your life not through a lens of lack, but one of plenty. You're already rich in ways you may not recognize. True contentment comes when you stop chasing after things you think you need and start appreciating what's already in front of you. It's not in a fancy car or a big house, but in the joy of a child's laughter, the warmth of a loved one's hug, the beauty of a sunset. It's about taking a moment to breathe, to truly live in the present. You'll plunge into the abundant universe with a heart full of contentment, and you'll reveal secrets that can transform your life. Understand that the universe is an infinite source of abundance, and it's there for you to tap into. It's not about greed or wanting more for the sake of it. It's about acknowledging that you're a worthy recipient of this bounty. Believe in your worthiness. Believe that you deserve to receive. This isn't just a feel-good mantra. It's an essential mindset you need to cultivate. Without it, even the vast wealth of the universe can seem out of reach. Start by being grateful for what you already have. Gratitude opens your heart to receive more. It's like a magnet for universal abundance. Next, practice generosity. The universe loves a cheerful giver. When you give freely, you create a space in your life for more to flow in. Now, with a heart full of gratitude and a mindset of worthiness, it's time to reveal the secrets of contentment, opening doors to effortless life manifestation. Imagine being the sculptor of your life, shaping it to perfection with grace and ease. It's not a far off fantasy, but a tangible reality right within your reach. The key lies in contentment, a powerful state that radiates positivity and attracts abundance. It's about accepting and appreciating what you have while reaching for what you want. Begin by embracing your present circumstances, no matter how challenging. Remember, every situation is a stepping stone towards your ultimate goal. Next, cultivate a positive outlook. Life isn't always sunshine and roses, but it's how you perceive it that makes a difference. Take a moment each day to count your blessings. This simple practice can shift your focus from lack to abundance, sparking joy and contentment. Finally, trust the process. The universe is always working in your favor, orchestrating events for your highest good. Effortless life manifestation isn't about sitting back and waiting for miracles. It's about aligning your thoughts and actions with your desires and letting the magic of contentment work its wonders. Diving into the secrets of contentment, you'll uncover the essentials of letting abundance flow freely into your life. The first step is recognizing abundance isn't solely about material wealth. It's about permeating peace, joy, love, and fulfillment into every aspect of your life. To start, you must cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Cherish what you have, however insignificant it may seem. This simple act invites more abundance. Next, visualize your life overflowing with abundance. Picture yourself living the life you've always dreamt of. This mental image plants seeds of abundance in your mind, paving the way for its manifestation. Let go of a scarcity mentality. This negative mindset can block the flow of abundance. Instead, foster an abundance mindset, believing there's enough for everyone. Remember, the universe is limitless. Lastly, give generously. By sharing your resources, time or skills, you're aligning yourself with the law of abundance, 
which states that what you give, you'll receive in return. With these essentials, you're well on your way to a life full of abundance. Embrace this journey and let the universe surprise you with its bounty. The secrets to contentment are within your grasp. Chapter 25. Embody the principles of abundance. In order to truly let abundance flow into your life, it's essential to embody the principles of abundance, embracing an attitude of gratitude, positivity, and open-mindedness. This isn't just about thinking rich or acting rich. It's about aligning your heart, mind, and soul to the frequency of abundance. Remember, abundance isn't purely material wealth. It's also peace, joy, love, and fulfillment. Start with gratitude. Cultivate a daily habit of expressing thanks for what you already have. Appreciate the small joys and victories in your life. This attitude of gratitude opens up your heart to receive more. Next, embrace positivity. Maintain a positive outlook even in challenging situations. Life isn't always easy, but your attitude towards it can make a world of difference. Choose to see the good, the potential, the opportunities. Positivity attracts positive outcomes. Lastly, be open-minded. Don't limit yourself to what you know or what you're comfortable with. Open your mind to new ideas, experiences, and possibilities. Be ready to learn, grow, and expand your horizons. This openness invites abundance into your life. Embodying these principles isn't a one-time act. It's a continuous process, a lifestyle. But don't worry, take it one day at a time. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate your progress. You've now discovered the path to abundance, contentment, and fulfillment. It's time to let go of the old, outdated scarcity mindset and step into a life of effortless prosperity. Embrace gratitude, visualize your desires, and align with the universe's rhythm. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It takes time and practice. So start today and let the abundant universe work its magic. The key to an abundant life is in your hands. Make it count. Thanks for listening. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. Thanks again.